So to decrease this saturation, we're going to select the image portion of the layer. We're going to go down to our adjustment, our image adjustments. Go to hue and saturation, decrease our saturation, and click this button here, which will um, affect the layers below. All right, so it's going to clip it to just that layer. All right, I'm going to go through a couple more steps, and then to, and just to show you how few steps there are, and then I'll come back and help individually. So if you're getting lost, just at least watch this, and so that you kind of have an overview of what's happening. All right, so first I desaturated it. I took the color out. Now I want to increase the brightness and contrast. So I'm going to add another adjustment layer. All right, I'm going to increase my brightness and my contrast. Again, we have to clip it to that layer. All right, make this very contrasty, right, and very bright. So we have a lot of both. All right, at that point, we're ready to apply what are called some filters or an artistic filter. So I can close this. I did learn that you are going to, in order to make this kind of a black and white type of image, we do want to have our foreground color set to black and our background to white. Once that's done, we'll go to filter and then filter gallery. Um, if you guys remember, we used this to add textures to the background before, but there's some nice um, adjustments in here to get some different effects, like a, a hand-drawn effect. So I've found that this option here, which this thing is not quite fitting in my screen, I gotta resize it. All right, so if I come back over here, and I'm using this photocopy setting. All right, uh, do I not have the right thing? Oh, so I have my adjustment layer selected, that's why. I have to have my image ad layer uh, adjusted again, or chosen. Now if I go to filter gallery, and that pretty much produces this type of like line art type of thing. All right, so that's going to give us our image like that. It's going to be basically all white. And then the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to adjust what's called a blending mode. All right, so I'm going to change this from normal to overlay. And now we see it, it kind of looks like it's illuminated through the pumpkin like that. All right, so that's what I want you guys to do uh, with the photograph. All right. 